guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. Okay, so this is a long awaited video that people have been asking me to do for a minute now, but I'm finally getting into it and dropping this video for y'all. So as you can tell from the title, I will be talking about my major. I am Kendra Payne. I'm an architecture engineering student at North Carolina a t State University. Um, I'm from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm going into my senior year this semester coming up. So this will be more geared toward the freshmen coming in, trying to go into this major. I think architecture, you think building buildings, and that's the main thing about it but once you go into engineering then you're talking about the ins and outs like a building don't just go up from your design like a lot of things have to go into it and you will learn that in this major first off coming in as a freshman you're going to register for your classes at orientation and basically they're just going to tell you what you need to take in order to start your journey um i this is something that is very important very important freshmen that's coming in make sure that you have taken calculus make sure that your calculus that you took in high school is going to count in college because if you do not have calculus already it's going to set you behind or if you didn't take calculus in high school definitely take the test so you can test out of it yes when you come in you're going to have to take calc one but it's a college calc one like if you do not have calc in high school or you did not test out of it then you're going to be behind okay right here i have my curriculum mine is the 2015 version because it didn't change 2016 but i'm pretty sure there's going to be another curriculum for 2019 so it might be a little different but for sure you're going to have to take calc one and in order for you to be on this curriculum correctly sis so you can graduate on time you're going to have to have that class freshman and sophomore year you're going to be taking um Again, basic classes, some things you're gonna take, you're gonna wonder why you're gonna need them, but there are prereqs for the major classes you're gonna take that's like pertains strictly to your major. It's a department for architecture engineering. So under the department, there is civil engineering, there is environmental engineering, and then of course, architecture engineering. It's called a CAEE department. Um, definitely get to know your department like know your people in your department because they can definitely look out for you my biggest advice to any freshman is to get to know the people that are already doing what you want to do and also know the administration that's on top of you because at the end of the day if there's something wrong there's a problem if there's something that you need to get done you have to go to them so make sure you know them Make sure you are on that good side. You know, you just never know who can look out for you when the time comes. Obviously, this major is going to be difficult. I'm not going to lie. Engineering in general is hard. But I can only speak for architectural engineering. And I can, all I can say is, is that it's hard. It's tough. It can be a little depressing. It can, little, it can be just plain out trash. Like, honestly, this semester that I just finished was trash and it's not just ANT because I love ANT. ANT is the number one HBCU in the world period but these classes that I've been having to take and these professors that I've been having to deal with have been a struggle and it's just something you have to go through. In your college experience you're going to notice that a lot of classes that you take just might not click with you. Like they just might not seem that important to you. They might not seem like a priority to you. And it just doesn't seem like you need to take it. Cause I felt like a lot of classes that I've taken so far, like I don't really see how I'm using it. Some of them I can say, yes, I can see where I took this. And now I'm, I'm applying it in this class. But sometimes that doesn't always add up. And some professors that are in our department aren't the best. I'm listening right now, but that's when you need to use your resources. You need to pull from people in your department. I had the biggest issue my freshman year of hanging with people. And I'm not saying you can't have friends, but I was like studying and hanging with people that were not in my major and they could not help me at all. So when you studying and you trying to get your homework done, first off, do it with a group because you're not going to get through this engineering journey without hanging with people doing the same thing you're doing you cannot do it by yourself you will not graduate 
trying to do it by yourself okay you have to get people that can help you so definitely be open to work with people definitely reach out to upperclassmen that have already taken the class like i can be a uh person that you can come to um if you are going in this major because i have taken those classes i mean i'm only gonna be there for another year but you know um i can definitely try to help like a lot of professors use the same test that they've used previously they do the same thing every single year so i kind of really know the rundown already and i kind of help you before you start struggling because you're gonna struggle okay but i can help you so you don't have to struggle too much i don't condone cheating but do what you gotta do to get your grades that's all I'm going to say on that one. But definitely try to learn the material. Even if you had to check a couple things, make sure you learn it. Because you're just going to go to class, to class, to class, to class. It's just going to add on. There is no, I did this and I could throw it away and I can go back to the next one. I can do this, throw it away, and then I can go up to the next level. No. The only way you can go up to the next level is to build a foundation. So you have to know the stuff that you previously learned. So you can add it on to the next thing. Once you go into your junior and senior year, you're going to notice that you're going to break away from the general engineering branch. So like your freshman year, you're going to really take classes with all the engineers. Everything, everybody's going to be in there. All the engineers, mechanical, computer, um, civil, um, electrical, all those people, they're going to be taking their classes with you. Definitely reach out to all them. But as you get to your junior Maybe the end of your sophomore year, going into your junior year, senior year, you need to get with your department. And then you need to even get with your major. People, I mean, you're really going to, you're going to be separated anyway. <clears throat> but get to know the people in your class because you're going to see them for the next couple semesters. And if they can help you get where you're trying to go, like maybe... Not the whole class knows how to do it, but maybe there's a small group that knows what they're doing. You need to get with them. Y'all need to work together. Architecture Engineering Program is a great program. I definitely recommend it to anybody trying to go into that field. It is definitely something that I admire. A&T is definitely a good school to go to going into that major. I will say, though, they do say that it's a four-year program, but honestly, the stats show that, like, on average, people graduate either four and a half years or five years. And it's because of this curriculum right here. Like, you really need to study this and make sure that you have all your stuff checked off. Because I'm down here, but I still got work to do. A like, huge thing that I recommend is try not to fail any classes. Just try your best not to fail any classes. And that means you have to take your time and take less credits at a time than do that. And just know that this curriculum isn't changing. It's still the same. You still need 128 credits to graduate. And I mean, work hard for it. Because it's going to be hard work. There is no, I can get through it like I did in high school. It's not, nothing like that. Professors aren't really going to teach like they used to in high school. Um, You're going to have to read the material. You're going to have to practice a lot of my classes didn't do homework so it was on you to do the practice problems and they were going to collect it for a grade so it's just like it's all in you personal respect for or personal accountability for doing what you got to do one thing i wish they would have told me coming in as a freshman is that this architectural umbrella really doesn't fit in the business world. So when you go into the job fields, and this is definitely for freshmen as well because going into your sophomore year, that summer you want an internship, definitely try to get an internship. Um, But in the business world, they're gonna either label you an architect or they're gonna label you an engineer. And there are other titles you can go under that can um, be displayed with the degree that you have or the degree that you're pursuing. Um, so definitely try to figure out a concentration. Like, do you want to go into design? Do you want to go into HVAC? Do you want to go into lighting? Do you want to be a project manager? Do you want to be a construction manager? In order to figure out what concentration you want to go into, you're going to have to do a little bit of soul searching, like a little bit of outside of class, like going into depth into your own research. Um, 
there's definitely different opportunities where we where you can get like experience in that type of field like if you wanted to go into construction there are like different community service events where they build tiny houses so you can kind of see if that's something that you like so definitely keep that in mind throughout your college career and what you want to do now ant has a lot of opportunities for engineers i advise everybody to go to the career fair um your professor is probably going to make you go anyway but definitely take advantage of it because don't just go for the class credit like actually go to like experience things um definitely go prepared don't just kind of do it on the whim because the career fair can be very overwhelming if you want me to make an in-depth video about the career fair then definitely comment it down below and i can work on doing something like that but also i wanted to say that ANT, well, just the engineering department has a lot of organizations just in our department. Like, a lot of organizations that you can participate in definitely hean in on your major and also, like, give you different experiences and community service hours and just different opportunities that could help you in the long run so definitely be a part of those if you're interested in being in like different positions and stuff like that those organizations definitely give you like a little startup on like experience and leadership um especially like aei ai as um asce i think it's one more but all of those pertain to just the CAEE department. So if you're interested in that, there's also an Architecture Engineering Honor Society. I am a part of that. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's everything. If you have any questions and concerns that you think I didn't touch on in this video, definitely comment down below and I can answer them. I'm pretty fast with answering the comments. So definitely let me know down below. Um, if you didn't get anything out of this video, just know, come prepared. If you didn't come prepared, get with somebody that can prepare you um definitely know your department know your class get to know people like really branch out so that you can get help from literally anywhere because you never know like who knows what and who can really help you along the way so